please subscribe mad.com and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more video updates hello everyone in our previous lecture we have seen the row echelon form of a matrix that you can use to solve a system of linear equation where you are given with the uh, with the uh, two or three variables uh, and you have to find the value of those variables and you can also use that that method we have seen in our previous lecture today we are going to see another method in a, of solving a system of uh, non homogeneous linear equation uh, that is a reduced echelon form of a matrix uh, as its name indicates that it is also related to the echelon form and uh, let's see uh, what is its form actually in which we have to convert the given system of uh, linear equation in matrices so we are given with an example that is uh, a system of non homogeneous linear equation consisting of three variables x y and z and we have to find the value of x y and z note uh, you have to note one thing here that uh, mostly we don't know why we use the echelon or row uh, uh, the row echelon form or reduced echelon form so keep this in mind this is the method that is used to solve a system of linear equation that means you have to find the value of x y and z by using this method now what is this method let's see first we have to write this given uh, uh, system of uh, uh, linear equation into an augmented matrix form then we will convert the uh, uh, convert them into uh, into the reduced echelon form and let's see how we can do it do it so we can write this um, uh, system of linear equation into an augmented matrix form as we what we have done we have written the values of the coefficients of x y and z here and then this the values on the other side of the equality here so what we have got we have got a matrix that is actually called an augmented matrix a augmented matrix is basically a matrix in which we have a matrix a and and the matrix of constants that is the value and the um, uh, that is the uh, constants on the other side of the equality together so we just um, uh, uh, write them together in the form of augmented matrix now we have the augmented matrix what we have to do we have to convert this matrix into a form if i write here now what is this this is a reduced echelon form of a matrix in which we have ones in the diagonal and the rest of the element in zero and we can e easily find the value of x y and z by converting the given augmented matrix into the reduced echelon form so in our previous lecture we have seen that we have converted the given matrix halfly you can say into the uh, row echelon form and then we at the end we need to solve it again to find the value of x y and z but here we will get the value of x y and z directly after converting the given augmented matrix into this form so let's start by uh, by step by step our step 1 is so our step 1 is as we have already one here uh, so we need not to apply any row operation on it then our next step is we must have zeros at this and this location we uh, as we are going to apply a row operation you can also apply a column operation it's up to you so first row will be will be written as it is as we need not to convert it into any form uh, currently then the second row must have zero below the one so what we have to do we have to subtract this row from the third so that we can have zero so what we have to do we have to subtract if i write the operation here as we are applying operation on on row 2 so we'll write row 2 dash here the new row will be this and we have to subtract the row 3 uh, from row so if we apply this operation what we will get is we will get 0 minus 2 3 and minus 10 so as we have applied operation on this row so i have written it into in, uh, uh, into the red form the rest of the rows will remain as it is the rest of the row will remain as it is that is 2 3 minus 1 and 9 so this is how you have made 0 um in the second in the uh, zero as the first element of the second row then again we have to apply the row operation in order to make the zero this 2 1 2 1 will remain as it is this row will remain as it is now the second row will remain as it is as we will apply operation on the third row minus 10 and as we have to apply the operation on the uh, on the third row so i'll write here r3 dash will be the new row so r3 dash will be r3 minus 2 r1 so we have to uh, 
to apply the operation on the third row and changes will be in the third row and we have to multiply first row with the 2 and subtract it from the from the last row so let's see what we will get we will get here 0 minus 1 minus 3 and 5 so the first column is exactly like this column 1 0 0 so we have done with it now we have to move towards the second column so we have to make now this element as 1 so what uh, how we can do it let's see again we have to apply the row operation and now we are applying the row operation on which row we are going to apply the row operation on the second row so how it will be then first row will remain as it is 1 2 1 colon 2 0 minus 1 minus 3 and 5 will remain as it is now we have to apply the operation on the second row let's see what it is so r2 dash new row what will be we have to multiply the second row with minus 1 and add it to the third row means minus r2 plus r3 by doing this what we can get if i write here what is my uh, the uh, what is the second element of the second row if i write here minus into minus it will be plus 2 minus 1 what we will get we will get 1 so we will have 0 1 minus 6 and 15 so this is how we have applied a row operation on the second row and we have made the element at this location as 1 as we have applied the operation row uh, before that at this element and before that at this element so we are uh, doing it one by one now we have to do what now we have to make the element before this below and above this one as zero so what we can do here let's see we have to apply the again row operation so first we will make as we have to apply uh, the operation on the third row so we will write it accordingly one two one two zero one minus six and fifteen and the third row will be r three dash and what operation we have to apply here we have to apply uh, an operation that will that must make the element at this location 0 so what we have to do we have to add the, the second and the third row we will get what we want so r2 plus r3 it will be 0 keep this in mind we have to make the operation row operations in such a way that the elements already we have made them 0 and 1 must remain the same so we have do we have done it in such a way that we will get 0 here then 0 here then minus 9 then 20 now we have to apply an operation uh, that must make this 2 as 0 as according to the standard form of reduce echelon form so let's see what how we can do it so it means we have to apply the operation on row 1 so I'll left row 1 and just write the rest of the rows and then we will apply operation accordingly 0 0 minus 9 and 20 so row 1 dash will be what what we have to do we have to do this operation r1 to r2 will be 1 then 0 here then 13 here and then minus 28 here it's minus 28 so this is how you have to apply operation in such a way that the rest of the elements must re retain their position then must retain their value then we have to apply ag again the row operation now what we have to do we have to make this minus 9 as 1 so we have to make this minus 9 as 1 so what we have to do is uh, so we uh, since we have to apply the row operation on the third row so rest of the rows will remain as it is so I'll write 1 0 13 minus 28 0 1 minus 6 and 15 uh, what operation we have to apply we have to do what we have to divide the third row by minus 9 so r3 dash will be equals to minus 1 by 9 of r3 so what we will get is 0 0 1 and minus 20 by 9 so we have reached at a position that we now we just need to do what we need to make these two elements 0 so let's see how we can do it our next step is so we have to make this element and this element as 0 in order to convert it into a complete reduced echelon form 
so let's see which next operation we have to apply in order to get this form so it means first we will do what first we will convert this element into zero let's see how so as we have to apply th the operation on second row so we will write the rest of the rows as it is so the reason of writing the um, rows in different form is you can have easy uh, understanding about it that uh, operation is applying on we are we are applying operation on which row so as we are apply going to apply the operation on second row so for that what we have to do we have to do r2 dash as operation is on r2 so we have to write r2 here so the operation will be 6 r3 plus r2 it means we have to multiply the third row with 6 and add it to the first row uh, add it to the second row so what we will get is 0 1 0 colon 5 by 3 now our next uh, so the last thing is we have to convert this element into um, z uh, into zero. So let's see how we can do it. So we can do it as first we will write the rest of the rows as it is that is third and uh, second and third as we have to apply only operation on the first row. So zero one zero five by three zero zero one minus twenty by nine and what will be the first row? Let's see. The operation on first row will be R1 dash will be equals to R1 minus 13 R3. It means you have to subtract the 13 times R3 from the row 1. So it means 1 minus 0 it will be 1, 0 minus 0 it will be 0 and 13 minus 13 it will be 0 and then what we will get here we will get here so we have got the reduce echelon form that we have discussed at the very start that we have to convert the given matrix a system of linear equation into the reduce echelon form and it will help you out to find the value of the variables this is a reduce echelon form and what we have got is these values these values are this is of x this is of y and this is of z depends on the variables that are given so we uh, were given with these variables so we can write here as the value of x is equals to 8 by 9 value of y is equals to 5 by 3 and the value of z is equals to minus 20 by 9 you can also check the value or verify the values of x, y and z by putting these values back into the given equations and check whether right hand side equals to the left hand side then you will see yes your answer is right. So this method helps you out to find the value of x and y, x, y and z quick, quick, quicker. You just need to keep in your mind that on which row you are going to apply the operation and uh, how to apply the operation on the rows and keep this in mind the operation should be just addition subtraction or division by some uh, constant value and other than that you cannot apply any operation on it so that's all from today's lecture thank you